is Gabby Dedek, and I'm an artist in the art program at Ability Path. I paint with acrylics, glitter, and other in in solutions. I love painting water motifs and patterns, especially abstract ones. My art has been in museums, galleries, and business offices. I spoke last year at the Ability Path office luncheon. The thing about making art is getting to share who I am as a person and with others. I began painting in high school. I had a wonderful teacher, Mr. Bowden, who was very helpful. And when I graduated, I received a certificate for outstanding farmers in the area of visual art. For the last 13 years, I painted at studios in the Redwood City and painted in the Ability Path studio. I've been at Ability Path when it was CAR when I was a couple of months old. I was in the infant program learning to crawl and walk. In the art program, I paint in the studio, learn to use new materials, and learn about the business side of art, like making business cards. I love to paint because it's like reading a good book. It makes me escape into the story of the picture I am creating. I mainly paint with acrylics and watercolor. In collage. Acrylics are great for getting the painting brush of bold and dark colors. The colors I use speak to me. I would like to see my paintings be used for clothing and other things as well. I hate children's clothing. Crazy <laughs> path. I exhibited in museums, coffee shops, and businesses around the area. My daily activities include volunteering in Milestone 3K in the Adult Activities Program, Ability Path. I also volunteer at the library. I love my work and love my painting. I found out that my art is my main passion in life. I learned a lot from it. I never knew that my experience in my life is art. I want to be an artist for the rest of my life. I think my artwork speaks for itself. The colors and lines we put together make a piece shows what kind of person you are. Each line speaks. What I love most about my artwork is that it speaks about my personality for who I am without using words. I tell people who I am. She's bold, colorful, loving. I'm lucky I can get lots of help from the art and computer programs at Ability Path. I'm sharing type of person and love to help teach and share my experience for the little ones. I think it's easier to share who I am with art than with words. Sometimes people don't understand what I'm saying. Sometimes I slow my words. But with art, they know me. Hope that people will see my art and get a sense of joy. All the kids who want to be an artist, I say follow your own heart, put a pencil in your hand, and give it a try. Pencil in one hand, play on in the other. See what you can do. And of course, a sheet of paper to go with it. You just have to start. That's how everything begins. You can even do it just from your own home. Your parents could help out too. Do art together. I learned a lot about myself. Working with kids at Ability Path, no matter what difficulties you you got, you you can still learn what you learn at an early age can stay with you for the rest of your life. I hope kids who love art will keep going like me. I have an inner teacher who says, keep going, keep going.
So you might want to start with your lines. You do swivy. Something along that line. I know you can't see the lines, but that's okay too. And then you raise all the excess lines that you put that you don't want. And now you start painting it. First of all, you need to take a tiny brush to fill in the small parts of your of the um squiggles. When you squeeze out your paint, only squeeze a little bit at a time. You don't want to go haywire on letting too much paint out. If you see the lines, okay. You, you can see the, the depth between inside the line and outside of the line. Here's another type of thin brush, which you might want to use as well. And just put it in any color paint you feel like. And just fill in the spaces. And of course, you need a jar of water. Clean out your brushes each time you use them. And dry off the tip. And back to another color. This is not looking very interesting, but it will become interesting when it's finished. Bring the bottom down below. The more colors you put, the better it is. And you wash your brush every time you want to change color. The colors won't blend with each other, or one color turns into another color. If you want to blend your colors, you don't have to wash your brush. You just apply it to a different color and you get all kinds of cool colors with it. Nice, beautiful green. You sort of see the hue of the other brown color that I used inside the green color as well. And of course, let's do another green because it's so bright and beautiful. Let's put another one. And every time you want to change your colors, always clean your brush. Unless you want the same hue green within your other colors. So you put the... You can also put some wonderful newspaper on it. Get yourself an atlas. Your parents might want to buy one for you so you can rip it up and go for it. All you need to do is just rip, rip, rip. Any child loves to rip, so go ahead and go for it. For a piece of mat and some glue, put glue on it. And glue it any way you feel like. I'm going to put this one right about here <sighs> a 
and then your beautiful wand, the paintbrush. I call it wand because you do magic with it. And then let's see, let's put some blue on that map. Be ocean blue. Ah, nice blue. Yes, if you have a map, you can paint your water. Nice and blue. Add some green. That's how you blend colors. You don't wash your blush. You just keep going. It's sort of like a treasure map. And I'm add more newspaper. Always, if you have paint on your brush, is to put it in water. So it won't dry up the paint. Now, let's add some more map. You can rip your newspaper in any size you feel like. Let's add a bit of glitter, and you put glitter anywhere you want as well. This looks cool. For the water, you can also do the same kind of color. Here's another green. And you can just spread it with the tip. In a way, this is kind of like a scribble type of art because of the lines and proportions that you put on your paper or canvas or whatever paper you use. Let's add some more color. Let's add this burgundy color. And of course, if you use glitter, you always have to clean your brush so the glitter won't stick to the brush. Now, let's add some more map, shall we? And I'm going to put this map right about here. Let's add some more dots. Or, just use the glitter and make dots with the glitter. Let's do another one. Now let's add more color. Now I'm dipping into a yellow type of paint, which is totally cool. The reason why I like the color yellow, because it's the color of sun, which can add brightness to your painting. And it makes it a tiny bit more vivid. Every person has their own specific favorite colors. So, anybody can choose their own type of color. 
whatever they feel best with. Or if you also want to, you can also blend these colors and put it in between the color. colors into into it and sometimes you can use your paint brush and just move the glue around a little bit The ocean has a lot more colors than just blue. There's, there's everything in it. Green, blue, white, you name it. Everything has mixtures of different types of colors. So, you know, also, that's why you need to be out in nature, mostly. You can see the colors and paint from that. There's more to it than just one particular color. Let's add some more dots. Book dots. And this guy's gonna be over here. Let's put it in a boat, shall we? So we know where the pirates live. And then what color are the boats usually? Brown and black. Nice big boat. And of course you take a bit of brown and add a bit of brown to it. Makes a neat color, brown and black. And now for a flag, of course you wanna make sure the paint is not too clumpy so it will dry faster. Pick up some brown and you add a flag. But a flag is not a flag without extra color on top. Let's add a bit of orange. And a bit of yellow. There you have a flag. Now, let's add some more color, shall we? Anyone can paint. So let's add the blue, which also makes a pretty cool color. Let's do some more ocean, shall we? Let's do some more blue. Right about here. Let's 
And since I did not clean my brush, you can still get the green effect. And of course, you might want to improvise with your colors as well. You can use any color and every color you can use. Black Ops gives you a nice, excellent image of all kinds of things. Let's add some more dots, shall we? How about a nice blue color? Let's put this one right about here. There you should love to travel so you can put in anywhere you like on your canvas or any people you use. And another pink one will go here in the corner. Now let's add some more glitter, shall we? Let's see. On top of the glitter, because it also gives it a nice effect. Probably a bit of green, more ocean. <sighs> cool. I like it already. Bit more blue. will go right about here. Voila! I'm not completely to the end yet, but it will take me some lot more time to finish this one.
for watching our Virtual Purple Museums broadcast. Our fall broadcasts are every Tuesday and Thursday on Facebook and YouTube. Visit us online and in person. Bill's Backyard, the museum's outdoor space, is open every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list. Visit www.cdm.org for more information.